In this video, I'm going to review the Smallrig Freeblazer Carbon Fiber Heavy Duty Tripod. If you're familiar with this channel, you'll know that I only promote gear that I actually use, and I always try to keep the gear chats to a minimum. I made sure to utilize the tripod in a variety of shooting scenarios, and after four months of real-world use, I feel comfortable to share my experience working with it, what I like and dislike, as well as who I think it is for. The first reason anyone should be looking at this tripod is the price. Quality filmmaking tripods are stupid expensive, and something Smallrig is really good at is high quality on a budget. The Freeblazer is exactly this a quality tripod at a fraction of the price one would pay for the more expensive brands. Next, we've got the weight. This is hands down the lightest heavy duty tripod I've ever used. The majority of the tripod is made out of carbon fiber, making it super light to pick up and carry around. On two of my projects, we had to get a lot of tripod shots from different locations and moving it around is a breeze. Although super light, the carbon fiber feels premium and durable. One of the reasons I took an interest in this tripod is the one step locking system on the legs. There's only one toggle per leg. So if you want to raise the height or drop it down, you simply use the one lever and pull the tripod up or push it down. A time saver indeed. The levers are made out of plastic, but I guess they made it this way to keep it as light as possible. I can get over the plastic look, but after continual heavy duty use and a few flights later, I'm convinced that it will last. The locking mechanism is solid and there's no way it's coming loose by itself, an issue I've had with all the tripods. The fluid head is really smooth. Best way to test this was shooting with a telephoto lens. I used it extensively on a surf film shooting for days with a 400mm on the FX6, and I'm happy to say that it performs exceptionally well. The pan angle has a stepless drag system that gives you fine control over how strong the resistance level must be. This head will comfortably shoot any fast-paced action, as well as get those super smooth slow panning shots. Unfortunately, the tilt axis doesn't have the same degree of drag adjustment, but still allowed for smooth tracking shots with the surfer going up and down the wave at high speed. The head can accommodate two different plates, with the first being your standard Manfrotto style plates, and second the DJI plates that comes with the RS series gimbals. You can make this switch with a simple push of a button, a massive time saver if you want to go from the gimbal straight to the tripod. The arm is extendable in a telescopic style, so it's easy to adapt to the correct length but also makes it easy to fold up and store away in the bag. The head is easy to level even if the legs are uneven. You simply twist the handle to loosen the ball head and use the bubble as a guide. This was super helpful when filming surfing on the uneven sand. The legs are connected with the center spreader, something I simultaneously like and dislike. Spreaders guarantee more stability and maximum vibration reduction, especially with heavier payloads and telephoto lenses, but there's a downside to this. With spreaders, you can't get those low down shots close to the ground, something to be mindful of when choosing a tripod. The legs by itself can support up to 25 kg and comes with a standard 75 mm bowl base for third party heads. If you go with the supplied video head, your weight comes down to 10 kg, but none of my rigs on more than that, so it's perfectly fine for my needs. The tripod can stand safely when retracted and folded due to the movable rubber feet. The flat feet can be interchanged with spikes depending on the terrain. I'm constantly amazed by how Smallrig is able to make quality filmmaking gear more accessible to the masses. The Smallrig Freeblazer is a great tripod for users who want high performance and quality on a budget. The weight makes it a winner for events and solo shooters in all genres. The smooth pan head is perfect for filming fast action or slow moving product videos. It's become my go-to tripod for day-to-day -day projects and has my thumbs up. As always, any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.